being a meanie. Sit with me. Love me. You're adorable. Get in the window. I know that's what you want to do. Go up there. Or walk away from me, meanie. Hey guys, what's up? I'm Grace, and this week's video is the ups and the downs of long distance friendships. So, I don't know if you guys know this, I mean I've mentioned it a few times, but I live on an island in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. It's a lovely island. I just, yeah. It's a lovely island, we'll leave it there. But I am several hours ahead of one friend and a few hours ahead of another one. So, I'm going to give you guys the ups and the downs that I know of a long distance friendship. I got some answers from my mom, from my sister, from my friend Austin. Thank you guys so much for giving me these. You guys basically said the same things, just different ways, and I picked my favorite ways that they said each of them. I completely agree with all of these because they're all true. So, yeah. The first up is that you can keep up with your friends via social media, even if you guys don't talk 24-7. Because talking is really hard with the time differences and stuff. The second up is that if that friend lives in a different country, they could send you a box of goodies from said country. Like my friend, she lives in Germany and she, her family sends my family German food and candy all the time. And it's amazing, because I get gummy bears from Germany. I'm slightly obsessed with gummy bears, so that's a big deal for me. The third up is that seeing them is a treat that you don't take for granted. Like, what is it, two summers ago, first summer I was here, wow, that was forever ago, but when you go visit the person, you don't take that time that you spend with them for granted. It's just like you every moment with them is a new better memory the fourth one is that even though yeah it sucks that you're not there with them they can send you pictures of things that happen like my friend anna went to prom and she sent me pictures of that and it was it was really awesome even though i wasn't there with her it was great to see those pictures and see how happy she was okay guys so now the downs and you know every friendship has their downs, but long distance friendships has have long distance friendships have more downs than normal friendships. Okay, so the first one is that you miss them. Like you don't like maybe you live a few states away and you miss them, but being countries away from each other, you miss that person a lot more than you would normally miss them. I guess I don't know, but you just miss them more because they mean more to you. Something like that. I don't really know how to explain this one. You just, you have such a deep connection with said friend that you miss them. The second down is that if you guys live in different countries, that the time zone can be tricky with how you guys communicate. Like, I know after almost three years of attempting to communicate with my friends, I have set patterns, like, from the time I wake up to around lunchtime to one-ish, I could talk to my friends in the States. And from around four-ish to whenever I go to bed, I can talk to my friends in Europe. So I have that set thing. But before it was really tricky where I'm like, okay, so can I can I text her now? You know, I don't know if I can, but I'm a text her because it's really cool. You know. But it was really difficult to figure out the time zone. Working out. Working out the time zone. Wow. The fourth down is that you don't get to see that person face to face. I mean, you could do FaceTime to FaceTime, but not face to face. Where like, you can see the person, and if the person's upset, you can hug them. Whereas if you're FaceTiming and the person's upset, you just sort of sit there like, I'm, I'm sorry, I can't do anything to help you. I mean, I can give you advice, but I can't hug you. Hugging is kind of my thing. I love hugging my friends when they're upset because I've been told I give good hugs. I don't know if that's true or not, but I've been told I do so Apparently that makes people feel better, or something to that effect. My fifth and final down is that 
you, that person that you don't see all the time and you live completely far away from, they could change anything about themselves and you wouldn't be able to see it first. Like you, you could see it on social media or if they text your picture or something. But I know after I dyed my hair, I only sent a picture to my friend Anna and my friend um, Kendall. Yeah, it was Kendall. I only sent it to them first and I waited a few days before I actually posted pictures that I had dyed my hair. So lots of my other friends who live in the States and stuff like that didn't know that I had dyed my hair. Or know that I had changed. So yeah. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. If not, give it a thumbs down. That way. I am going to be doing another video next week. It will be up a little later than usual. I don't have a set time, I should have a set day, but it will be up maybe that day or maybe the day after. Because I'm going to be filming my graduation for you guys. The whole day. That is the day I've decided I am filming my whole day. It's going to see my day from the beginning. Getting ready for my graduation. Graduation because I'm safe. My sister will film some of it for me. Hopefully she does. And hopefully it will be a really cool video for you guys. I will see you guys next week. Bye. Max! Max, what are they watching? It's freaking scary. You gonna leave me again? Don't jump up there. I can't, the TV. <laughs>